today, Bono's Rugby Union. Starting this year in September, there is going to be a massive penalty party over in New Zealand called the Rugby World Cup. Hey, Wallaby, go mate, mate, Cora, yeah! So today, to prepare you for that massive kick-ass party that they have over there, I want to teach you everything I know about Rugby Union. Go, yeah, take it, take it, take it, take it. Go, 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 go. So how did rugby start? Well, legend has it, Union began back in 1823 when a student from rugby school, William Webb Ellis, picked up a soccer ball and ran towards the opposition's goal. He then kicked it out on the full for no reason, which really pissed off everyone that was watching. Yes, out on the full for no reason. Then he packed the same Engage. scrum on his own about 15 times. Engage. Reset, reset, reset. And then he went out to a nightclub with Wendell and had the bloody night of his life. <laughs> Just kidding, buddy. I love you, buddy. There is no doubt that both codes have superior athletes. However, there are some ever so slight differences. See if you can pick them. Here is a picture of one of the Kangaroos premier forwards, Dave Shillington. Compare that to Wallaby's forward, Matt Dunham. <laughs> well, another great deal of difference there. Anyway, here's a shot of me and three of my rugby league mates just hanging out on a Saturday night like we usually do. <laughs> and here is how the Wallabies forward pack like that. <laughs> now, I know what you're thinking. The big man played rugby league and he's not exactly Captain Sexy. But I dare you to tell me he's not sexy in this next picture. <laughs> I'd love to wake up with that under the Christmas tree. <laughs> rugby Union has become a global game with its pinnacle taking place once every four years in the Rugby World Cup. The Wallabies have won two of them, one in 1991 and one in 1999. However, it's going to be tough for them to win it this year. There are some really strong teams like Georgia, Namibia, Kazakhstan, Iraq and Tasmania. So today, we're going to take a look at a couple of the easier teams. <coughs> the South Africans are the current world champions. And for those of you who don't know any, they are widely regarded as the most polite and understanding people in the world. Move out of the way, I'm from South Africa. Okay, not to get some money up. Mark, where'd you park? It's starting to get dark. Are you in the right car park? Because I'm down here wanting to swim with the sharks. You're starting to be a narc. I want don't be a skylark. I'm starting to get some park. What like this? The All Blacks are the favourites for the World Cup. They're awesome at rugby. They eat, breathe and sleep rugby. Whoa, whoa, where do you think you're going, cuzzy? I'm going in, what's wrong, James? Nah, not in them shoes, cuz. What's wrong in these shoes? Nah, mate, you're too pissed, you've had too much to drink. I'm putting a bed on, I'm not even drinking. Full house in here today, mate, and you're not coming in with that rat's tail, mate? That's it, get against the wall, you bastard. Mmm, <laughs> yeah. Some nice fresh sheep, mmm. Yeah, thanks, great. Mmm, yeah. Mmm, oh, fuck yeah. Well, that's Rugby Union, and you can watch the Rugby Union World Cup right here on Channel 9, the best channel on TV. P.S. Go the West Tigers. What the hell is this sport? They're all laying on each other. Looks like a bloody orgy out there. Anything but the rugby, bro.